All right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. I'm Anlians V. Today I'm going over the Intel tool called SMT. SMT is a public tool that was used in, or started in 2017 and is now available for public use. So what you would do is you go to the Releases tab, which if we go there now, it'll be the first one. You click this, and then you click the zip, and then you extract the zip, and you'll be here. So let's see. So then we go into SMT. And here we are. So we're on this channel now. So basically, uh, well, this is our folder for SMT. What you need to do first and foremost is go into your Intel channels folder. It'll have your Intel channel folder in here. So you have to have it um, separated by line. So your first Intel channel will be on top and then you push enter and then your next Intel channel will be on the bottom if you have more than one. Most of you will only have one. Uh, so this is all you have to worry about. You would only have to worry about the first one. And then you push save and you close it. Next up, you'll launch the tool. I already have it launched, um, so we're going to pull this up. This is what it looks like. This is uh, one of our spaces. Uh, so as you have this up, it will show you um, Intel currently going on. Right now, there is somebody in JXQ, so we're going to go to JXQ and see where that is. That's an OWASA. So say you're an RF tech. People are being reported all over space. So basically, you'll see these red things. The yellow means it was cleared but the red means it was reported here. So this is gonna, this is gonna, sh it's gonna show big when it's first reported and the smaller it gets means the older the Intel is. Um, so yeah, that's how you use this thing. Every time somebody's reported, it will beep like this to keep you awake. Um, however, you can change that. You can go to preferences and you can go down to, whoops. You can go down to Intel and you can change it to only showing the dangerous zone and then limiting the sound to the dangerous zone and then you can change it size wise if it's like five jumps away four jumps away whatever uh if you're going to be using that though you need to set it to auto follow your active character and then you're going to set your active char character up here and then it will automatically follow wherever you are so yeah that's how you use this tool i hope it comes in handy if you have any questions don't be afraid to ask um but i hope this video at least helps you out a little bit thank you